Hi, I'm Eric Lenask here, uh, TMCNet on the road, and I'm joined uh, this afternoon by Bernard Abuswan. He's the VP of Marketing at Gainspan. Bernard, thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. So, uh, iPhones, Androids, uh, Windows mobile devices, everybody's got at least one or two, maybe even three uh, mobile devices, and it's really changing the way people are interacting, people are behaving. Uh, it also means a lot for Gainspan. It, 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 Tell me a little bit about how it, uh, it enables Gainspan to, to deliver uh, new ways of interacting. Yes, so, so, so Gainspan is all about Wi-Fi connectivity, fundamentally providing connectivity to a lot of the devices. Uh, so it's really, it's really at the heart of the machine-to-machine -machine or M2M market. It's at the heart of the Internet of Things. So fundamentally what we do is we enable devices or things to connect to the Internet but we also enable uh, various people to basically control devices or monitor devices using their, their smartphone, their PC, et cetera. Um, so so it's, it's, all, it's all about providing Wi-Fi connectivity. And really what we bring in the solution today, we are, I mean, we are a chip vendor, we are a module vendor, but we, re we are really a solution vendor in the sense that we want to enable uh, the developers to develop very easily or add Wi-Fi connectivity very easily to their device and also allow uh, consumers to be able to very easily use their device and, 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 and monitor or control or send basically information to, 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 to the network or to the cloud. So what kinds of devices, what kind of uh, services are you talking about? So it, it, it's, it's the, the number of applications are, are unlimited. I and mean, we have all kinds of, of, of customers who are developing different devices. And let me give you some examples. Uh, so smart home obviously is very important. So we address the smart energy sector in terms of uh, smart plugs, in terms of uh, thermostat, in terms of uh, water heater, air conditioning units. Uh, when you look at the security aspect, alarms, door locks, um, irrigation controllers, um, so that's all within the home. Then you have the whole uh, house market in terms of you know, glucose monitor, a pulse oximeter, a heart rate monitor, so all kinds of personal healthcare devices as well. And then we go into, into automotive, for example, where you have a different device like, such as measuring the, the pressure of your tires, a rear view camera, so that you could you know, back, you know, so it's a retrofit market for rear view camera into cars where fundamentally your camera is sending information to an iPad or some, t some type of a screen that's sitting you know, in, 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 in the cabin. And, and so there are all kinds, and then in industrial application you have all kinds of devices, especially for expensive machinery where you have multiple sensors that are, that are on the device and you want to be able to monitor before it breaks. So the, the application are really unlimited. So uh, certainly you were, t you were showing me earlier a little bit about a, a lighting application that you have. Tell me a little more about that. Well, it, it, it's, not really an app as far, as far, as, it's not really a lighting application per se. It's really what in order to enable uh, 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 um, the developer to develop an application, what we've developed is what we call an application development kit. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the example I show, I've shown you is really uh, a, a device where you have a number of sensors that are sending using, using Wi-Fi, sending the information onto a smartphone. So you could monitor those various sensors using the smartphone, but also use the smartphone as a way to control that device. And, and this application development kit is really to, to, to bridge the gap between two things. I mean, in terms of shorten the development cycle of, of the developer, but also bridge the gap between a, a developer who is familiar with embedded code running on a microcontroller and the developer who are developing uh, application for the cloud or application for, for a smartphone. Uh, typically, they don't use the same coding language. Mm -hmm. And what we are doing is we are providing capability that really bridge the gap between those two. So it's very simple for an embedded developer to send information to the cloud and vice versa. So how do you, so you've got a de developer who, who builds out this application, uh, you create the chipsets and the sensors, 
uh, who actually ge generates revenue? Uh, so, so in fact, you know, there are all obviously a lot of obviously a device manufacturer. I mean, his revenue is selling his devices to consumer, to industrial application. But you, you have also a different source of revenue. You have obviously the people who are developing cloud application could potentially, you know, a company who is developing a device might not have the skills to develop a cloud application. So they might approach a, a, a third party that could develop basically the cloud application for him or could develop the smartphone application for him as well. So, you know, all this is part of a, of a big ecosystem. In some cases, the device developer might want to develop the whole thing. In some cases, he might want to rely on outside developer. Or, for example, if you take, a, if you take for example, a glucose monitor, you want to send the information to a hospital, okay? So the hospital might have its, its own cloud application, and, 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 and the device manufacturer is producing this, but it basically enables that connectivity to the cloud, so it connects to the to the cloud solution that the hospital might be providing. Now you mentioned that a couple a uh, couple of times, uh, connect, Wi-Fi connectivity. Do you also enable uh, connectivity to 3G or 4G networks? No, we we today the company is focused on Wi-Fi. We believe Wi-Fi is going to be a very key ingredient to this whole M2M. It's really an enabler to that. Uh, obviously, there are uh, multiple competing technologies, and but over time, what we've seen is. Because, because of familiarity of user, due to the familiarity of users with Wi-Fi, people love Wi-Fi. I mean, they've been using it, they have it on their smartphone, they have it on their PC, they go to the airport, they connect. So they are, they are, getting familiar, they are very familiar with it and, 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 and they really love it. And as a result, initially, uh, uh, some of the application might have been using other technology, but we see more and more of, of those devices moving into using Wi-Fi connectivity as, as a primary uh, connectivity solution. Excellent, Bernard. Bernard, thank you so much for joining us here in San Jose, TMCNet, On the Road. I'm Eric Lanath. Okay, thank you.